you know the drill. Ginger shot with a pack of glutathione and lipospheric C, coconut probiotic yogurt for a healthy gut, and my sauerkraut for a healthy gut and healthy skin. I also do fresh celery juice in the morning, but I am out. So I think I'm gonna order some from a local juicery and we'll pick it up when we go and walk Bali. Also, hi, good morning. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you're new, I'm Shayla. It is a very gloomy Sunday out today. We had some good sunshine last week and we are back to gray overcast, sad, depressing weather. But I feel like this kind of weather is perfect to do indoor home projects. And I have a fun little project I wanna do in my bedroom today and I feel like even though a couple of things that I ordered for it have not arrived yet some of it I'm pretty sure has because I just got an email notification that I got some deliveries downstairs and you'll see when I show you in a minute like the vibe of this little project is happy warm bright and just given the weather today I feel like today's a good day to start that could use some warm energy today so I'm gonna order a juice on the app so I can just pick it up when I get there plain celery juice and yes I do have a juicer but it's actually the same price for me to just order a 20 ounce juice and it's way less work for me and I would way rather devote my time today to doing this bedroom project with you than going to the store hunting down celery which is typically out unfortunately <laughs> at the grocery store where I go and then juicing and having to clean up it's like a whole thing we're just gonna order one and make things easy perfect that will be ready in like 15 minutes also oh my gosh I finally invested in a new apple watch my other apple watch works great still and I'm actually selling it but it doesn't track my sleep and I have been unfortunately struggling with my sleep if you watch my last couple of vlogs then you know I was in Australia for it was actually more than two weeks but a good amount of time and the jet lag just really kicked my butt and i've been struggling getting back into a regular healthy sleeping routine <laughs> i was curious about tracking my sleep I just went ahead and treated myself you know like a little valentine's day gift to myself my old apple watch again works great and it is posted on my poshmark account if you are in the market for one you want one at a discounted price it's still in great condition i feel like i just wanted a fresh one i've had that one for a little while and yeah it's been motivating me to work out every day track my sleep track my steps I feel like i got a new wave of inspiration just with the watch and obviously you don't need a watch to do all those things but sometimes a little gift to yourself like a new outfit or a new watch or new headphones or something kind of inspires you to get back in the vibe. I feel like it has helped me get back into my fitness and health girly era, which has been fun. All right, I'm gonna drink some now and then I put some in this jar for the next two days. I split a 20 ounce celery juice over three days. I'm sure if you watch my videos a lot, then you already know this, but essentially I drink celery juice because it helps me keep my skin clear and it helps me with my digestion and just helps me keep my belly happy. And I just drink plain celery juice. I do notice a difference when I don't drink it. I can usually go like a day or two, but by day three, things are just out of whack. So it's just something that I know works for me and it's something that I stick to because why wouldn't I if it keeps my skin clear and it keeps my belly happy. Not everything I ordered came, but a very special package did arrive. I have thoroughly enjoyed my neutral vibes in my bedroom. Before I moved to New York, I lived in LA and my apartment in LA was definitely much more colorful. And so when I moved to this apartment, I wanted to keep it neutral vibes, calm, creams, beige, just relaxing, soft, bright, and light. And I've absolutely loved it. And I'm not going to change my entire apartment, but I just feel like given this gray depressing weather outside, I I'm just in the mood to do a little bedroom makeover. So I have been trying to decide what vibe I wanna go with for my bedroom. And I found the most beautiful art pieces. I will pop a picture of them here. And I was originally looking for art for above my couch, but I decided that these would go in my bedroom. They're like Morocco, pink, orange, 
themed art prints that I ordered on Etsy. They inspired me to kind of give my bedroom a little revamp and brighten it up. I feel like it'll just be nice for spring and summer and especially for the end of winter because it's so depressing outside when the sun is not outside and I am deeply affected by the weather. So I feel like bringing a little bit of bright sunshine vibes in my bedroom will really help. So I found these art prints, okay? And I, uh, we're, this might be a multi-video process because they're obviously not here yet. Also decided to order new bedding from Brooklinen. Brooklinen is my go-to favorite bedding. Also get my towels there brand because they just have the best quality. They have such beautiful options. They also do bundles and I am just obsessed with Brooklinen. I've been using them for quite some time now and I just keep coming back to them because the quality is so good and the quality is so good for the price. I have not looked at these yet. I just undid the tape. So we're gonna look at them together. <gasps> Oh my gosh, this color is gorgeous. This color is called Canyon Clay and I got another color sheet. Okay, wait, I have to like tell you all about this. I'm so excited. Oh, oh my gosh, this is so fun. I'm gonna pop my little mood board that I made over here. So you can see the inspiration. I feel like this new bedding just matches the art prints that I decided on perfectly. I always get a bundle and that is because you can save money when you bundle items instead of just buying individual items. You can always buy individual items and I sometimes do that when I want to buy extra pillowcases, but the bundles are such a good deal. I got the classic hardcore sheet bundle instead of buying individual items because you can save 20% off by purchasing a hardcore bundle, which includes one fitted sheet, one flat sheet, four pillowcases and a duvet cover. And I chose the classic percale sheets because they are super breathable. And these sheets in particular are really good for hot sleepers. I am such a hot sleeper, it's so annoying. <laughs> so let me show you the bundle that I got. I got two pillowcases in the color Canyon Clay. Then I got a duvet cover also in Canyon Clay. And then I got the core sheet set, which includes a flat sheet, fitted sheet, and two pillowcases in this gorgeous ballet pink color called Rosebud. Also, because I am absolutely obsessed with Brooklyn and Silk pillowcases for the hair and skin benefits, I got two new silk pillowcases in Rosebud. Also, I have six pillows on my bed and the bundle came with four pillowcases, so I wanted to get two extra ones. I love to sleep on these. These are the freaking best. This bedding is giving hotel style luxury. And honestly, we spend a lot of our lives in bed and I just feel like it's so important to invest in sheets that are not only going to last you a long time, but also just get softer with every wash and give you a good sleep. I'm very excited. Also, hot tip, Brooklinen is having their President's Day sale right now, now through February 20th, where you can get 20% off site-wide and 40% off their bundles. That is major. And you can shop their President's Day sale using my link, which I have included in the description box below. Again, that is 20% off site-wide and 40% off their bundles, now through February 20th. I'm telling you, Brooklyn Inn is what you want to sleep on, but you do not want to sleep on this President's Day sale. This is like an unbelievable sale. I actually currently have Brooklyn Inn on my bed too right now. And goodbye. Thank you. We will see you in a few months. Also, LOL, look at my rose quartz crystal that I was sleeping with last night. <laughs> Okay, picture it with the new art. I'll pop a picture of the art up on the screen here. How pretty is this gonna be? Uh, I'm so excited. I feel like the colors are just like so warm and vibrant and happy and that makes me happy. Folly, she's not happy. <laughs> No, you can't eat with us. 
Had a lovely lunch and now we will have to put the room makeover on pause because I'm still waiting for a few things as you know. So maybe we'll do some more of that tomorrow. As of right now, I am going to do a little quick change because it is Super Bowl Sunday and we are going to a little spot in the East Village with some of our friends to go and watch the game. And I've decided to wear red, which is no accident because both teams are red, the Chiefs and the 49ers. And yeah, I feel like this is a pretty neutral color to wear. <laughs> I think I'll just do my little red tank, maybe my Anine Bing sweatshirt over the top. I feel like puffer jacket is safer, safer bet. <laughs> there he is. The world's hottest boyfriend. He's all mine. Let's go. <laughs> making me take a city bike and it's just not my favorite thing. It's just not my favorite thing. Why, why, why? <laughs> okay, fair enough. Sorry in advance, I know this LED mask is shocking, but I had the best sleep that I've had in a long time. I slept for like eight hours, and I swear my new Brooklyn and bedding had a lot to do with that. I was cool all night, so comfy, so cozy, and so luxurious. This is why I love Brooklyn. And good bedding really does just change the entire vibe at night. Also, I feel like I might get this question because this mug is so pretty. Some of you might wonder where this mug is from. And if you watched my very early New York City vlogs when I first moved here, this was a gift from my mom and it is made by a local Brooklyn ceramicist. So don't think you can get them online, but how pretty. Also, hi mom, if you're watching, I love you and I miss you. Last night was really fun. I'm not a big sports girly, but I do enjoy watching sports. And I thought that the game last night was really fun. Although I'm a little sad that the 49ers didn't win. Obviously I have to root for the California team, you know, San Francisco 49ers, since I am a California girl. We didn't really stay that late. We came home early to finish watching the game here and I read in bed and I actually fell asleep reading my new book because my sheets were so luxurious and relaxing. <laughs> I need to give you a book update because I did finish the last book I was reading and obviously started a new one. I'm currently reading Housemaid. More on that later. I have a little bit of work to get done this morning and then I'm gonna build some closet organizers that came. Oh yeah, that feels good. Wake up, get the day going, get the week going. I'm in a good mood. I completely forgot that I have a doctor's appointment that I need to leave for in like an hour. And I really was planning on going grocery shopping, but we're gonna do that after my appointment because I just don't think I have enough time. For lunch, it's not really gonna be lunch. It's gonna be more like a snack. I'm gonna do some red pepper hummus from Ithaca and some pita chips. I don't know how I completely spaced this doctor's appointment, but... I did. This hummus from Ithaca is so yummy. I have a book update for you. I did finally finish Things We Hide From The Light. I read the first book in the series, Things We Never Got Over. I loved that book. I did enjoy this book, but it wasn't my absolute favorite. However, I will recommend it to you because I thought it was a good read. It's a big read. It took me a lot longer than I thought because it took me a little bit of time to get into the book only because I read the first one like last year and I kind of forgot a little bit of it, but still enjoyed it and I would give it a, hmm, 
I would give it a six and a half out of 10. And as I mentioned this morning, I did start a new book, The Housemaid. I'm really enjoying it so far. However, I'm only up to chapter six, so I will keep you posted on that. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time to put this together, but let's see what we can do. I have like 45 minutes. You never know with these things. It is not from Ikea, so that's promising. Cause I feel like things from Ikea always take way longer than you expect, but this is from the container store. It is essentially over the door storage. My friend Veronica has these in her apartment and we live in the same building. And she said they are a massive help. They hang over the closet doors and just add more storage. Which is necessary because my closet is a hot mess. I have done my best, but it just, things are just put in way too tightly. And if you are in a rush or you don't put things exactly where they need to go, you are just left with a giant mess. So I need some more storage. I also have a new dresser that matches the current dresser that I have, which will go over over here because we have some big changes coming to Chateau Shayla. Yes, I just named my apartment Chateau Shayla. We have some big changes coming in the next month or so. And I will fill you in on that when the time comes. But anyway, the name of the game right now is to create more storage in my apartment. And I'm not going to do a full closet organizing and closet purge because in like a month it will be spring. And so I think I'm gonna do that in a couple of weeks for spring because I can like shift a lot of my clothing out and around. But for now, I at least wanted to get this storage thing up and on my closet so that I can get this box out of the way. Interesting. I hope this isn't too complicated to put together. We'll see. Just kidding, I actually cannot install this today because I did not get the correct over the door hooks. I have to get one that is thicker. So to be continued later. Ugh, that's so annoying. Okay, order of events is Whole Foods because I need to return something to Amazon, then the UPS store, then my doctor's appointment, then we'll go to the container store, exchange the current hooks I have for the right hooks, then I need a grocery shop, Sorry if it's loud, but you know, down in the city, I got all of my errands done and now it's time for my doctor's appointment. Got my blood taken and it was not bad. Yay. Why don't you give me a little chocolate? Love that for me. There they are. That is exactly what I need. to make a veggie soup and stuff to make my vegan chickpea salad, which we will do pinata. I also got some sumo oranges because they are my favorite. They are so good. I will now attempt to finish putting together my little closet organizer. I actually feel really good about this. I'm 
obviously not gonna arrange my closet right now, but I think this is great and this is gonna add so much extra storage. My closet door closes still. For dinner, I'm gonna do a lazy girls risotto type of thing with spinach, mushrooms, carrots, oat milk, and vegan bouillon, and then some frozen jasmine rice from Trader Joe's. I just don't have the energy to do anything else. I am actually like this close to ordering Postmates, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it because I don't need to. I can make this risotto. I used to make this all the time when I lived in LA. It's pretty basic, but you know what? It, it does the job. I'm just gonna get it started now so that it can simmer while I take my bath. Just gonna do the tiniest little bit of this garlic infused olive oil. And then I literally just saute this until it softens. I'll add the spinach in. I'll mix some of this vegan bouillon with hot water, add it in there, add a little bit of oat milk just to make it a little bit creamy, add in the rice, turn it on low or off, and then let it simmer. You know what? I think I'm gonna add some zucchini to it as well. Guess why it's snowing outside. I'm so excited because when Arch and I went to Australia, we missed like the first snow day that New York had seen in something like 700 days, which was probably not a bad thing because snow can be kind of annoying, but I've never had a proper snow day while living here. Obviously we'll go down and take Bali down in a minute, but I just wanna have like a cup of coffee and wait for the sun to come up a little bit more because it's still pretty dark outside. Are you waiting for your little treat? Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Sorry for the raindrops on my window. Kind of makes it hard to see, but it's like proper snow outside right now. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I'm prepared. Buzz, what do you think it's snowing? What do you think? Oh, she's not happy. <laughs> Coffee. <laughs> Veronica and I just ran into each other in the elevator. We decided we're gonna go on a little coffee date. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> changed into a little bit more of a cute outfit because I think I want to try to go outside and get some photos in the snow because it's so pretty out. And I have a sneaking suspicion that the snow is not going to last and that I'm probably going to spend the rest of the day inside until my nail appointment later. So why not soak it up? Okay, I had my little fun romp in the snow, making today a proper indoor snow day. I have some cooking I wanna do, like I mentioned last night. I have a little bit of work to do, and I kind of am in the mood to organize a little bit, maybe purge some things. I'm feeling pretty hungry right now, so I'm going to make my vegan chickpea salad. The recipe for this is up on my blog, which I will link below, and I'm also gonna make my veggie soup, and I'm just gonna kind of prep it now and have it ready for dinner tonight. And that is the same veggie soup that I've made multiple times in the last few weeks. So I've already shared the recipe for the soup quite a few times. So I'm not going to show you that because I don't want to be repetitive, but that is the vibe for right now. Make some food, eat, work, organize, and have a productive day inside.
Okay, I feel like just doing a little mini kitchen purge slash clean. Out. It's shocking. Oh my gosh. Okay, time to get organizing. She's really excited because I'm taking her to my nail appointment with me. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. Are you very excited to go with me? Okay, come on. Nails are done. Went with this color from Olive and June called Strawberry Scone. Going to turn my soup on and warm it up. I originally wanted to go down to the gym and get a little workout in, but my nail appointment ran a little bit long and I had to stop at Warby Parker and get my glasses fixed. They just replaced the little nose pads on my glasses for me. And yeah, so I think I'm just gonna flow in my apartment so that I can keep my stove on. I have not worked out really in the last couple of days just because I was really sore from my workout on Saturday and then I got my cycle on Sunday and I've just wanted to kind of be slower and more chill. I worked out every single day last week and I just felt like my body needed a little bit of a break. I'll probably work out in the morning, but I feel like a little restorative flow would do me some good. Time for a shower and I am way past due washing my hair. It's time. These are empties actually. And I rebought this shampoo and conditioner from Kerastase from Sephora the other day, as you saw, because it is so good. I think there might be like a little bit left in here. So I'm gonna use up whatever's left of that, but there's really not much left. <laughs> I just want to be present with Arch and not have to think about vlogging and all of that good stuff. So I'm going to say goodbye to you now and read my book. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to take advantage of Brooklinen's insane President's Day sale. Again, that is now through February 20th. You can shop my link in the description box and get 20% off site-wide and 40% off their bedding bundles, which I happen to think is a deal you do not want to sleep on. So take advantage of that. Subscribe if you're new. I love you so much and I will see you in my next video.